Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is uh, Apostle Rakar back again. GMS push on, man. I'm going to entitle this video, The People of This World Are More Demonic Each Day. Now, the reason I'm doing this video because, you know, as you can see, I'm out here once again on the move. We got this demonic uh, Thanksgiving holiday about to come up. So, you know, these people out here, man, when you out here, but even before this holiday, I'm talking weeks and weeks prior to this, so for the past couple of years, but primarily focusing on the past couple of months, the past couple of years, everywhere you go, whether it be in New York, Connecticut, California, uh, North Carolina, people are, the people of this world are more bugged out. And that's the title of this video, the people of this world are more demonic each day, okay? When you get in your truck, that's why I always stress prayer to brothers, man. I always stress uh, brothers got to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai each day before you get behind the wheel of your car, man. Because I don't know if you brothers notice, you get behind the wheel of your daggone car and you driving on these regular roads on the highway as well. But I'm talking about on the regular streets, people, they run stop signs, they'll cut you off, they'll tailgate you. I mean, they, 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 it's like they're, like they're high on drugs. And I got some news for you. The majority of these people are high on drugs. Well, we know the main drug that they on is philosophy, right? But I'm talking about actual drugs, man. These people are actually bugged out. They're actually on drugs, man. Uh, a lot of these people, they're they on uh, methadone. They go to these little methadone clinics, and they, they be shooting up methadone, man. They high on these uh, prescription pills, painkillers, uh, uh, oxys, percocets. These motherfuckers are actually taking drugs, man. And, I mean, like in the old days, you had crack, or you had weed, or whatever you had. But now, these motherfuckers now, man, they are uh, they actually on drugs, popping uh, uh, pain pills, prescription pills, and all this other kind of madness, man. You know, they get other, they, they, they get people that have chronic pain. So what, what's going on? A lot of these people they sell their medication to other people because I guess. Uh, it has morphine in them or whatever. So these people pop pills and then drink alcohol and smoke weed. So when you out here on the road, you be watching the way these jokers be driving. They be driving like demons. They got no business behind the wheel of a damn car or truck. They be running stop signs, man. Running red lights. So you got to totally be in the spirit of the Lord when you out here driving, man. You got to totally be in the spirit of your about and your shot when you out here driving, man. That's why I always stress prayer to the brothers. You got to pray to the Lord, man, while you out here. But anyways, the people over here, they're just more and more demonic each day. And then when you look at them, you can see the demons on them. They got more demons on them more than ever. That's why not more than ever we got to walk in the spirit of the Lord, man, and pray to the Lord and stay inside these, these scriptures, man. But um, I'm going to read a couple of scriptures on this topic because it's something that I've been wanting to push out for a while now. The people of this world are more demonic each day. And they are. People be looking at you bugged out. You go somewhere. The other day, I was downtown with my woman. We was by, down by the post office. Some black woman pulled up in a damn car. And she was just staring at us, glaring at us, all bugged out. Some old demonic nigger woman. People looking at you. You walk in a place. And also, too, that's the, the, the scripture says that the men of the Lord, we're the light of the world, man. So, the demons that's on them perceive the spirit of Yahweh Shai that's in us. And that's why these people be staring at you, glaring at you, looking at you. you like you get to, it's to the point where you don't even want to come outside your house, man. You just want to stay in the house. Because these motherfuckers are crazy out here. That's why these people, they need death like yesterday. Okay? Death is overdue for the people that's out here. That's, a, that's another good title. Maybe that'll be the next video. Death is overdue for the people of this world. Starting off with the two-thirds of Israel, our demonic, bugged-out people, and also, too, the Esau and these other nations, all the people that are up out here, man. But I'm just going to read a scripture. Maybe read, like, two scriptures. You know me, man. I could do these impromptus. I'm not going to sit here and, and uh, read 50 scriptures, man. Like, I'll quote I'll quote the scriptures, and then you look them up on your own, like Apostle Tahar said, which I've been saying that, Okay. But I'm going to give you like two key scriptures that I'm going to bring out. I'm going to start off in the Apocrypha, okay? Second Ezra, the 8th chapter, 8 and 1. Okay, showing you what the scripture is saying. This is all prophecy, though. You go out 
outside your door, man, people, they, they'll do all, even if you try to cross the street, they'll run you over. They be up these little tiny roads, they be flying in their cars, driving all fast up the road. Okay, they be running stop signs. The, the, the people drive crazy, they're driving crazy. I've never seen this before in my life, and I've been driving for years. And for you brothers that drive, you know what I'm talking about. Yo, man, you, you be scared to go from here to the corner store. Because they, they, they'll run up on sidewalks and run you over. Okay? Because they just got demons on them. And you see them, and when they drive and they get behind the wheel of the car, they be high on pills and methadone and all that crazy shit. They doing more demonic shit. You see these little young GMO baby niggas and kids out here. They be walking on the street tweaking, acting all bugged out. So this is a real demonic, evil time that we living in, man. So I'm going to read this, right, just to prove my point. Second Ezra was 8 and 1, right? I'm going to read it. And he answered me saying, The Most High have made the world for many, but the world to come for few. That's right, man. In this world that we live in right now, man, that, that that's, that's goes into what Yahweh Shah talked about. Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be that find it. But the world to come, narrow is the path that leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it, man. That links up with that scripture, what Yahweh Shah talked about, right? So anyways, this world was set up, this America, this new this society, this world of Esau that's ruling now, this was set up in a step. The Most High set it up that way so that the majority of these people could be destroyed because they're wicked and that's their judgment. Destruction. Death and destruction. So it's all set up in the spirit that way. Because the majority of these people gotta go. They're gonna go. They gotta go. Like I said, they're bugged out. They're demonic. They're evil. They're wicked. Okay? Uh, committing adultery. You listen. You, 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 you watch the TV. You see most of these men, most of these so-called Negro men, these young Negro men are homosexuals, man. And all the young girls are lesbians. That's being pushed. That homosexual lesbian agenda. Okay? More so and more so. And even the young so-called men, primarily of our people too, because we know the Esau, the so-called white man's a faggot. They're, that's pushed upon them. Even if they're not a homosexual, even if they're not an actual active homosexual, they have a feminine spirit upon them, man. Or they're mama's boys, or whatever the hell it might be. So the majority of the people in this world, they gotta go. The Most High set it up so that he could destroy them. That's why Yahweh Shah said, if I had come on to them, they have repentance. But now that I come on to them, they have no cloak for their sin. So Yahweh Shah came. 2,000 years ago, and he preached on all the people, even the wicked, two-thirds of Israel. They rejected him, so now they got to be destroyed, man, okay? So I'm going to read on, Second Exodus 8 and 2, right? All right, I will tell thee that a similar to Ezra, as when thou speakest, okay, as when thou, no, I'm sorry, I went off on there, as when thou, as when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee, that it giveth much mold. Mold is something that's corruptible, man. Mold is a bad thing. Like if you leave clothes wet sitting out, the mold gets on it, and those clothes are no good. You got to throw them out. <laughs> Whereof earthen ve vessels are made, but little dust that gold cometh of. See, gold is precious. It said little dust, little dust uh, that gold cometh of. Gold is precious, right? So gold... Okay, it's precious to the elect. So, I meaning there's only little that's going to come out of this earth that's good. And that's the elect of Israel, the brothers that's in the truth, the brothers that believe upon the name of Yahweh Bashan, Yahweh Shai, and that's doing the work of the Lord. Okay? We're the gold. We're the fine gold that the scripture talks about, right? Right? Are made of. Okay? The vessels are made. But little dust, right? But little, uh, but little dust. That gold cometh of, even so, is the course of this present world. The course of this present world is destruction, man. That's the course. That's what the scripture is saying. Because like I said, people are bugged out. The majority of the people are on drugs, literal drugs, and which, which produces demons. So the majority of these people got to go. They're homos, they're faggots, they're high on drugs, they're committing adultery, they're completely entrenched in wickedness. Okay? Third verse, there be many created, but few shall be saved. <laughs> That's right. So the majority of these people don't even realize.
realize, the majority of these people don't even realize, right, that they're going to be destroyed, man. They don't even realize that they're not going to make it. They don't realize that they're not going to make it, okay? Why? Because they're too far gone, they're too bugged out, and they're too wicked, so says the scripture, right? There'll be many created, but few shall be saved. So answered I and said, uh, uh, swallow them down, O oh my soul, understanding and devour wisdom. And that's what we're supposed to be doing, okay? The brothers that's in this truth, man, he's constantly pondering on these scriptures, constantly uh, putting these videos out. And when you're putting the videos out, what you do, you study. You're getting into the scriptures, man. You're doing the work of the Lord. You see what I'm saying? So basically, brothers, you have to understand. Well, like I said, I'll just bring that, I'll cut it short. I'll bring that one scripture out. And that's what that made the point of the video. The majority of these people got to go. There's other scriptures to back it up. Second, uh, um, well, what's that? Uh, Two-thirds. All right? The two-thirds scripture. Amos 9 and 10. Okay? But two-thirds of our people got to go, man. Starting with Israel, because the majority is primarily our people, the ones that are bugged out, that got to go, and then these other nations, man. So basically, that's the point I got to make, man. The majority of these people have to go. That's in this world today, man. But we got to stay focused on the scriptures every day. That's why you pray. That's why the scripture says pray without ceasing. All right? So with that, I'm going to cut it short. I'll be back with another impromptu very shortly. Uh, Apostle Ricard, I say Shalom.